I wanted to do it to make my grandchildren proud of me. The drama, the unpredictability, and the chance for the underdogs to thrive. That's what we love about the playoffs. But while the players and the backroom staff have really stepped up this season to get us to this stage, Skybet are honouring those off the pitch who've gone above and beyond. Local community heroes. And I'm here today at Nottingham Forest to meet someone who's really made a difference. David, it's wonderful to meet you. I'm here today really to talk about how marvellous you've been. So you went and you became yeah. a volunteer for the NHS. People who can't go to the GPs and they were being triaged in what they call the Red Hub, which is uh, a big tent where the doctor sees them and administers health care to them in the, in the tent outside. Did you feel you were putting yourself at risk? Yeah, I was a little bit apprehensive at the beginning, but you've got NHS nurses there, you've got doctors there, and they teach you the proper way to use the PPE. After a while, it became second nature. But you then volunteered again? Yeah, they're asking for vaccine volunteers. I got a call from the guys who had done running the Red Up in the previous summer, saying, would you like to come along and help us out at the Derby Arena? I think when we were first doing it, we were getting about seven, seven, eight hundred people a day through the door, and it seemed a lot of people. But now, three and a half, four thousand, seems, seems a doddle. <laughs> In that time, how much have you missed coming back here? Oh, it, it, it's, it's probably been the one main driving force, you know, get back to normal, get back to the football. I want to congratulate you on behalf of Sky Bet. They're offering to take up the costs of your season ticket in recognition of the wonderful work that you've done, mm -hmm. not just on behalf of your wonderful football mm -hmm. club, but the people of this community and how selfless you are. Thank you. I mean, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't do it for that. I didn't, I, I wanted to do it to make my grandchildren proud of me. When I signed here in 97, my mum and dad came and they looked around the place and we got introduced to everything. That was part of the reason why they felt so comfortable with me coming, because everybody was so respectful. Yeah. They thought, my boy is going to be taught in the right way, he's going to have them manners, he's going to have them things that you need in broader life. And, and they're, they're the things for me that mean the most about this football. So club. what happened then? I don't know. <laughs> I went to the, the quarter-final, the, the Grasshoppers one. Uh, and what, the 4-0 yeah, four one? 4-0, four and I, I played really out their skins that night. And it, was a, it was a great match, great crowd. Well, I think this man represents what we should all be trying to do now. Girl, there's no excuses, you just went out and done it. It's brilliant, it's really, really brilliant. How much have you missed them in the ground? Oh, we need fans. And I used to feed our fans as a player. You know, when, even the away fans, when you go away yeah. and they're calling you all sorts of names, <laughs> when you go over to take a corner and throwing sausage rolls at you and all this stuff. I didn't eat them, by the way. <laughs> it's amazing to be here and, and in, in the ground. You know, it, it, it brings something back to you that you, you, it's been snatched away for the past year.